five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Fuck up. Like it says, live from Harlem. This is the ramble, and it goes until, yeah, you know, midnight tonight, okay? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, out to California we go to talk to the lovely, the attractive, the uh, musical, uh, his nibs. Mr. Larry Bubbles Brown, the uh, the leader of the pessimists. The leader of the pessimists. Uh, yeah, I remember his, her nibs, Miss Georgia Gibbs. Do you remember? I remember that? hearing that. I don't know who she was. Yeah, so I love that term. His nibs, Larry what Brown. Is, what is a nib? Well, actually, his nibs, Larry Brown, just doesn't work like it. Her nibs, Miss Georgia Gibbs. Right? I I think they came up with the word nibs just because it rhymed with Georgia right. Gibbs. <laughs> Could have said ribs. Mm. And nobody knows who I'm talking about. You know? I mean... I, I think she was a singer. That's all I know. My friend Shecky says he thinks there are people now that don't know who Paul Newman was. Oh, absolutely. That as soon as you die, you disappear. Well, you do disappear. But you disappear from iconography. You know? So. It, which is amazing. I think we talked about this a little about you... These guys have this amazing amount of fame, and how quickly they're forgotten. Yeah, they just, that's it. You know, yeah. once you're dead, goodbye, see you later. Paul knew who? New man, Newman. Oh, yeah, he did. He has the popcorn. <laughs> and pizza. And pizza, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, how are you greeting the new year? Do you like the new year? Is it? Uh, I've look- written it off already. <laughs> You've written it <laughs> off already. Most people make resolutions. I like to give up by the first week. That way uh, there's no pressure. Well, I, I never do resolutions. I always thought resolutions were stupid. I but- used to, and now I stopped doing them, and you're right, because, I yeah, they're, they are stupid because you're going to break them all, and then you hate yourself. I mean, you know, you, you should always have resolutions of things you're going to do or have to do or have to survive with or whatever, you know? It's bullshit. So, I, you know, but uh, so, uh, so you've written off the year already. Written it off. Nothing's going to happen this year for you. Nothing good will happen, no. Did I hear you recorded an album? Oh, actually, I did do that. That that, that was at the end of December. I did, and uh, that's supposedly going to come out on March third, which will be my thirty ninth anniversary of stand up. Mm-hmm. And is it your first ever album? First, first, and uh, as the uh, Cree pal who was the MC said, he recording his first and best and last album. <laughs> well, no, what you could say is here's thirty years worth of material all in one album. Yeah, all in one. So how's it going to be released? Is it, it do they release albums anymore, or is this just going to be like you know? Uh, I think they do a little. Re, I don't know how the I, this this kid Matthew Lane pushed me to do it. And they got all these little companies that have records now, and they uh, they do release them. Most of it's online, but I don't know how it works. Yeah, but it, but we'll be able to buy it online. Yeah, the trick is if you get played on Sirius a lot, you can actually make some decent money. But yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't get played a lot on Sirius, yeah. so you know. Uh, I'll tell you what's ironic though. I was fired from Sirius, right? Mm-hmm. And they go out and they buy this company called Pandora. All right. Guess who's on Pandora with his show? This show will be on Pandora. Wow. Yeah. Me. Now don't tell Sirius XM because if they know I'm here, they may just say we're not you're, we're canceling you from Pandora. You know. <laughs> Do you get any money for that? Not a cent. Wow. Not a cent. If I made money off of this thing, don't you think I would share some of it with you? <laughs> where where do they come up with uh, this idea to get people to work for free? Uh, show business is free now. Yeah. You know, I mean. I do this show every night 
a sum total of uh, what 60 years of broadcast experience right and I don't make a penny off of it and most people don't make money off of it uh, what did I see something like 300,000 podcasts now and 150 make money yeah 150 make money and they're probably lying yeah, and I, I thought I read 600,000 podcasts. 600,000? Okay, thank you. You just depressed me even more than when I heard it was 300,000. And I'm supposed to compete against that or even make enough noise to rise above the din? You know, it's very uh, difficult. You know, it's very difficult. And there's there, I've never seen, there's so much interest in comedy right now, but there's no money in it. So. Well, I mean... Um, some of the best uh, money makers in this business aren't making money anymore. Bobby Slayton complains to me all the time that he's not, you know, he's not getting the gigs. Why? They want younger people. You know. Well, ageism has always been rampant in show business. Well, I even look, you know, I, uh, when I say, well, you, you can be old and do comedy, look at uh, uh, Lewis Black. And then I think, and I say, when's the last time Lewis Black ever did a special? You know? He kind of disappeared, yeah. Yeah, he kind of disappeared, and I think a lot of it had to do with age. You know, so, uh, and I, to me, funny is funny, and if you're 60 and you're funny, you're funny. If you're 80 and you're funny, you're funny. It's a, whether, the question should be, can you still make people laugh? And their idea is, well, the audiences are younger now, and... Uh, they don't like old people. Well, fuck you, they don't like old people, you know. And that, by the way, age is the last uh, racism or ism left, okay? It is, and it's widely accepted. It's widely accepted. Nobody, nobody will fault anybody for not hiring anybody because they're too old. Mm-hmm. Well, too old is you can't crawl to work every day, you know. I mean... You've got guys who are in their 30s or alcoholics working for you who have less ability to show up every day than the guy who's 80 years old. Yeah, years ago, before I got into stand-up, I briefly worked for the Department of Labor, and that was the uh, the hardest thing to prove even back then was age discrimination. Yeah, yeah. They would fire you for some you know, nebulous reason, and but it was always there. Well, I think I was fired from Sirius for age. I, I have oh, no, absolutely. I, I, have no I, mean, d- I have no doubt about it. And they made me sign something when I left in order to get my uh, severance. I had like 16 weeks of severance pay due me. Uh, in order to get my severance, I had to sign something saying I would never charge them with age discrimination. And I said, you realize that forcing me to sign this before you'll give me my money is age discrimination. And uh, be- be- blackmail, too. <laughs> well, because... Albert, who was also fired with me, didn't have to sign something saying he wouldn't sue for ageism. Okay? So because of my age, you're making me sign this, uh, you know, and that in in and of itself is ageist. How can they withhold your money and and deny you a right to sue? uh... Well, if I decided to sue them. Okay, let's just say for grins, I decided to sue them. That piece of paper wouldn't stand up in court because they'd say so, yeah. they'd say you were holding it up as a as a uh, uh, as a uh, biscuit or whatever. Uh, I think it would actually help your case for, for him to sign in order for him to get his money. Um, you know, I mean, I, yeah, I think it was ageism. Uh, sometimes they don't say it's ageism because they don't feel they're being ageist. There's, oh, he just is kind of doddering a little better. He's not as good as he was, you know. Then I listen to myself in shows I did just before I left there. And uh, I was as good then as at any other time in my life. Okay? I mean, I can honestly say that. Uh, I'm not as good as I was now. In fact, I suck now. I wouldn't say that. You Well, no, I do suck now. I mean, compared people to... get older in their voice, you usually it's amazing how people's voices change. You're still very strong. Well, it is. I think it's it's strong. I don't think it's as strong. 
uh, I think that uh, I start phasing out a little too much, although I'm taking medication, which makes me not remember stuff as well. God forbid you should take that. God, you know, because you're, <laughs> you know, you're terrific you know, with the remembering stuff and so on. And, you know, well, not short-term memory, but yeah, long-term, I'm pretty good. Long-term? Yeah, but uh, yeah. it's hard to remember what happened last week. Yeah, I'm amazed at the stuff I remember that's old, uh, but I can't remember stuff that is recent, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and um, so I, I, you know, I, I like I was there's something I was doing the other day where I was coming up. Oh, I know we were watching this. Marjorie and I were watching this show called The History of Film, uh, a, a film odyssey or something like that. It's called an odyssey, and it's a 15, sixteen part series that was done by BAFTA in England on the history of film, and it's very scholarly. And it's very much a, he, he goes into directors you never heard of, but he goes into stuff, and I'm saying over to Marjorie, I'm throwing out names. Oh, blah, 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 and then blah, 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 did that. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I'm saying, how come I can come up with all these names, these uh, names nobody even knows exist, right? And yet when it comes to something that happened yesterday, uh, my doctor, uh, my oncologist is... Uh, 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 you know, uh, so I mean, yeah. I mean, why do the the old memories stay, but the newer ones fade quicker? That's odd. Yeah, it, it's very strange. In fact, I'm trying to remember that my oncologist's name now. <laughs> I think. Oh God, forget <laughs> it. It was not Cecil B. DeMille. <laughs> forget it. You know, what's his what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? I can't remember his name. My. My oncologist's name is, let me look at letters here. Um, no? Huh. Let me see here. Do I have it? No? No? Let me see. Onco- oh, okay. Dr. Stock. Okay. How could I not remember that? I was thinking, yeah. is it block? Is it strong? No, it's stock. <laughs> yeah. Well, it could have been Spock. So. Yeah. But I like, uh, I, he's very important. Uh, if you look him up, uh, he's the guy who planted the radioactive seeds in uh, Rudy Giuliani 20 years ago. And I guess Giuliani, unfortunately, is still going strong. <laughs> As will you. And I've, I've said to this doctor, I said, I've read up on you, and you really have pioneered the uh, the prostate seed thing. He went, yeah. And I said, you, you established a lot of the modalities for doing it. He went, Yeah. And I never mentioned once, and you did Rudy Giuliani, huh? I've never <laughs> mentioned that because this guy's going to have his hand so far up my ass, I better trust him, okay? Yes. Yeah. Well, t- <laughs> you know how they put the seeds in? You want to really you just go, uh, they, they put a long needle in through your perineum. That's the, sp- that's the taint. Remember we used to call it the taint? Mm-hmm. Uh, he he puts a needle through your taint, and supposedly you don't have any pain afterwards, you know. Uh, but they that's how they insert the uh, the seeds, the radioactive seeds. And that doesn't hurt. Well, I'm asleep. I'm out. Oh, okay. I'm out like a light. They're gonna. Okay. They're gonna. They did it. They did it about a week ago too. Although I I'm not looking forward to it because when they first put in this stuff to put you to sleep, propofol, there's. A pain, he said. There'll be a slight warmth, and all of a sudden, my hand feels like it's it's being put in a vice. It was that bad? And so he said, "I guess I better put numbing agent in for you." So he ran numbing agent through it as well, and then it got better. But don't you do the numbing agent first, and then you would think. <laughs> But what I like about what I like about uh, uh, and I hate to talk about health on this program a lot, but fuck you, folks. It's my life. I'll talk about it. Um, what I love about being put out on propofol is it's like your. That's what Michael Jackson died from. Uh, it, it's like somebody edits out fifteen minutes of your life. No you know, memory. No memory. Just it's like. When did I, you don't know when you went out, although the doctor said just before I went out, I went, 
oh, this is feeling good. I think I said something like that. And he said, See, that, and then you're you went literally out. dead for 15 minutes. It, well, you, you're not dead. It's just you have no memory of that 15 minutes. And it's like somebody edited, spliced it literally out of your life, you know. And I find now that when I was trying to tell people about this, I, it was a pre-op thing. It, it, they did a thing where they had to go in there and put in uh, some gold little posts, uh, mark, marking posts for the radiation uh, in the prostate, and then also put a spacer between my bowel and my, or my rectum and my prostate so that it doesn't get radiated. It took about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Very simple procedure. But they put you out for it. And I then tried to remember when I was on a gurney and when I was in a wheelchair. And I, I, as I look back, it's hard for me to remember exactly what happened right afterwards. You know? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a creepy feeling. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you get the same thing. I used to get that with, uh, remember, Halcyon and Ambien? You'd have these memory <laughs> blocks. <laughs> well, I got that, yeah. I got that from, uh, I have got that from Xanax. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't take any of the sleeping pills. I did try them for a short time, but I didn't like them. Now I'm taking this thing every night uh, for my neuropathy um, called, it's not gabapentin. It's uh, another version of it. It's uh, what Lyrica is. And uh, it does, uh, uh, it, it fucks up my memory somewhat. And I keep bumping into walls, uh, you know. And they say that's one of the side effects. I'm going, oh, good, you're giving me a drug that's going to make <laughs> me bump into fucking walls, you know. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, so I find that I don't have the same kind of control over my body. Not my bodily functions, but my body as I had. That's going to be the next big thing is when they do the seeds, I'm going to have trouble peeing, and I'm going to have to pee more often, and sometimes it's going to be urgent. So I'm back to what I had when I had an yeah, enlarged sure. prostate, which is you spend all of your life keeping tabs on where the closest toilet is. Hey, we're going downtown. I know that there's a, uh, a, a <laughs> Starbucks that's got a toilet you can use, you know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, as yeah. A, I know that fee, that urgency where you, you got to go right now. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, it's a prostate thing, you know. Yeah, which, which you're probably uh, you're of age to be able to have that. Oh, problem. sure, sure. I've had that for a while. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, and you and I are both sharing hernias, and uh, I don't know what I'm, fact, I don't know uh, what my I'm, doctor is going to look at mine today. No, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't hurt it. Every now and then it's a little, whatever. Mine's getting sore, so I don't know. I should probably get it. I don't want to do surgery. I think we're going to have to. Sore? Maybe yes. sore. Very sore. Very sore. Oh, mine's just a little, little sore, you know. So, I don't, I, you know, I don't want that up. See, I, I don't mind the radiation. I don't mind the seeds up my ass. I mind a hernia operation, which I hear is no walk in the park. I hear they're pretty tough. Uh, I did some research on them. Up until the 1960s, the uh, hernia surgery required uh, two months of two months of bed rest, and then they've gotten a little better since then. But well, they don't. I, do heard it's, I know a, guy, a friend of mine that had it. Just said, "Don't get it. It was horrible." So. Really? Yeah, he said it was so, so so much pain he couldn't get out of bed for three days. And wow. Wow. Yeah. How does he feel now? I guess okay. Right? He's okay now, but he said the first few weeks were terrible. But he had he had a like a, he had a triple hernia. So he had two in the side and and two in the abdomen and one in the uh, up higher. So I I've never heard of a triple, but he had three done at once. These but weren't like your, been the these problem. weren't your typical gut hernias though. Right. Yeah. These weren't all gut hernias. These were. There were two gut hernias, and then he had one in his. Uh, what they call it. Yeah. So what was the one that bothered him the most? Is the question. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, it might be that the. I think the regular hernia operation is just. It's just. It, it does take a couple of days of bed rest, but it's not particularly painful afterwards.
Well, so they've come out. The you know, the medical science has improved most of these procedures. I mean, I had a uh, what did you do? With, what I do with the eye? They had to replace the cornea, the cataract. The cataract had them in both eyes. In the old days, if you got a cataract. See, folks, we're talking old people stuff because <laughs> young I people love don't stuff, get though. cataracts. Don't get cataracts. Um, but um, uh, in the old days, they you used to have have to sleep on a block that kept your head from moving at night uh, for like, like a three of sandbags for, or for like three months. Okay, now you go in there, you put some stuff in your eye. They take you in. He goes, boom, 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 boom. About 15 minutes later, he's put in the new cornea. He puts a little plastic thing on your eye. He says, don't take this off for 24 hours. So you don't take it off for 24 hours. You look like you're walking around with goggles, you know, with a goggle monocle. And uh, then, uh, you know, he, take, he sees you the next day, takes it off, says, here, keep putting these drops in your eye. And that's it. You know, not not painful, not painful, nothing. It's the easy one of the easy. It was an easy procedure, just absolutely simple procedure. And did it improve your vision? Oh yeah, uh, for a while. I mean, it it, to, it it improved my vision in that I had like a little fogginess in the center of my eye all the time. You know that 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 was you know. And he said, you have one going in the other eye, but it's not ripe yet. That's the term they use. It isn't ripe right. yet. And he put it in the, but then the, the other eye did start to go a bit. And he said, ah, okay, it's ripe. Let's let's do it. And we did it. And it was it's so simple, you know. And this was a procedure that years ago was quite anguishing, you know, or at least annoying. And I'm happy to see that uh, I, I, I'm happy to see that uh, happen. That that's happening with medicine, with what's happening with me with the pro, with the prostate cancer. A few years ago, none of this existed. The cyber knife that I'm using, five radiation treatments. T- uh, I'm going to spend no more than 45 minutes in the in, in the in the situation, and that's taking my clothes off and getting into a gown included. Okay. And uh, prior to this, you had to have two months' worth of radiation, 10 minutes each, okay, uh, over a period of like two months. Uh, so, I mean, and then it, that also radiated other organs, so it made that kind of compromise them a little bit. This thing is pinpoint and only gets the prostate. So, I mean, this is what's happened with medicine. That if we say, oh, they have really haven't improved medicine at all, well, you know, th- they have on this. You know, they so. have on this something, and probably ten or fifteen years from now, we're we're going to miss all these things. It'll make it'll be so much easier. Oh, it, it, absolutely, it's going to be so much easier. Uh, uh, you know, and and uh, in in a few years, we might be able to cure most cancers. You know, I mean, I have a friend who died of lung cancer um, a few years back. But- and I'm thinking most common cause of cancer death. If we had, if we had, like the cyber knife today, he might still be alive. Mm-hmm. You know, because they can they can now pinpoint where they're doing the radiation. You know, and they might have been able to 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 take care of his uh, his his cancer better than they're able to take care of it now. So um, improvements, absolutely. A few years ago with my prostate cancer, they just say, go home and wait a couple of years, then you're going to die from it. And they would leave it at that. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, but but it's it's pretty simple. Um, and uh, uh, in my case, I said, you know, I said to the doctor, am I going to die of this? And his answer was no. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and and uh, um, I asked him the other day, I said, the reason you're doing both this and the seeds is you want to make sure you get everything, right? He says, that's the reason why. He said, one or the other might take care of it, but we don't, we don't, want, to, we don't want to play, uh, take chances on this. So, you know, uh, he's, he's, I'm, I'm in good hands, you know. Plus, I, like I saved Rudy Giuliani's life. What can I say? Damn him. <laughs> Damn him. It you could know. be worse. You could be a Kaiser or something. If, yes, exactly. Well, you know, for all your jokes about Kaiser, we were mentioning this last night on the show. 
for all your jokes about Kaiser, the fact is you go to Kaiser, right? I go to Kaiser. <laughs> you know, so that's uh, the, Larry Bubbles Brown's famous line, Kaiser, which is a HMO, Kaiser, better known as Doctor Assisted Suicide. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, and you did that when you were doing a commercial for them. Uh, guy, yeah, and I cost, uh, remember the uh, Kaiser pulled their spots and somebody had a, <laughs> Somebody in the front office had a cow. <laughs> yeah. No, Pat of course. McNally. Some salesman. <laughs> yeah, some salesman lost a lot of money. Hey, yeah. listen, we've run out of time, but Larry Bubbles Brown want to do this again next week? <laughs> sure. Okay. Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen, you can see him uh, nowhere right now. <laughs> but you might see the big album coming in. <laughs> okay. And we'll tell you all about it later. Bye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, I got off to a little rocky start tonight, but uh, uh, it won't show up on the uh, final cut. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, hello, everybody. And it wasn't on last night because I had a court thing. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, let me see here. Uh, where do we go? There we go. There we go. I don't bring up my Skype until I'm t it's time to do the show because people have a tendency to call it uh, when I'm not on when it's not open and uh, I uh, and uh, let's see here I got to turn up make it active so everybody can see the green light. See the thing is they can call. If, let's say you go there and it says I'm not active. I'm offline or whatever, and you can call it and it'll ring me. <laughs> you know, well, what the fuck good is that, you know? I'm, I don't get it. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Somebody started to call, and then uh, Michael Klein started to call. Hmm. Well, I hope that we're going to be okay tonight, that this isn't a harbinger of uh, things bad Skype, you know? Uh, but anyway, uh, give me a call. Uh, the lines are open. Well, here comes Charlie Wallace, and he certainly got through okay. Uh, always the first person who rings through makes a lot of makes a lot of noise. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, turn yourself down there. Let me. Uh, oh, and he's he he had a place last night, so he's right up there, right in the center. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, yep, there he is. Let me move this down here, and then we're ready to go. Here comes, uh, uh, well, it says Kevin, Phil Meyer, and six others. <coughs> yeah. Uh, uh, this doesn't look good. This mm. doesn't look good. Somebody's calling using their old, uh, their old Skype. Okay. In other words, if, if they're using a former group that we had. No, you got to call clean, right? You, you tell yeah. them, look, tell them how to do it there, uh, 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 Charlie. Well, you go to the, the one thing that says GabNet Live. You just by itself. It's yeah. got the little green dot by yeah. it, and then you, you yeah. click on that. Don't click on something that was a former group because that then screws everything up. Okay, so. Uh, let me see here. Who was trying to call, though? Let me see if it says so here. Uh, no, it doesn't say anybody. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm not going to... It went away. Uh, well, here we go. Here comes Phil Meyer tonight. Uh, th this is a... Is a, uh, 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 Phil, there we go. Phil Knight. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh, and here comes uh, hey, Bree. Hey. Bree's coming in, so let me... Okay, so now I got to start putting these people on. Uh, let's see here. We'll put him in there. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there we go. Scuba diver. There we go for him. Okay, then um, uh, let me see here. Wait a, minute, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We should have. Oh, hold on, everybody. Wait a minute. What's this? There are unsaved changes. Do... No, 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 no. Cancel. What do I. I want to do Jesus. This is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Now let me see here. Oh, there we go. There's Phil. 
And now, uh, hold, hold on a second, Jeff Stein is calling. Okay, I got to get all these people on, okay? This is going to take a little time. So everybody, <laughs> be, be, let's see here. Next, we got, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, um, I guess this is M M Michael Klein, I would imagine. I he don't know. Like yeah, there he is. There he is. Hi, Michael. Hi, uh, Alex. How are you now? Let me go to uh, my next thing here, which is uh, let me get rid of that. Let me see here. Who 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 don't, who don't I have on now? Let me get on uh, Jeff. Okay, I got to put <laughs> Jeff on the on the on the thing. This is getting very confusing for an old man like me. Uh, let me see here. Or the band Jeff, and then finally Bree will go in the. Number five slot. Um, okay, so hold on a second. There we go. Here we go with Bree. Let me see here. Bree, 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 Bree. There he is. Okay. There we go with that. Let me see here. There we are. And then let me make the transition. Boom. There we go. Wow. It takes a little bit of work at the beginning. When all of you call at one time. You know, I mean, that makes me happy, but, you know, what the hell. I'm exhausted, by the way. I had to get up <laughs> at 8 o'clock this morning. And last night I tried to get to sleep early, but you know what happens when you try to go to sleep early? Somebody calls you. No, nobody calls me. <laughs> that too. What is that? Good night. I use and the herb. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try everything. But anyway, so I, I had my pill in me, and I took Xanax, and I took uh, I smoked some pot. And finally, I got to sleep about 1, but then I had to get up at 8, and then I had to go down to this courtroom. You know, I feel lawyers are paid every penny they're worth, and I'll tell you really? why. I said to them, I said, you guys are worth it just for having to put up with the boredom. <laughs> You know, we sat there for three hours while they had this guy who rented us the apartment on the stand, That's and all the hundred dollars. Uh, uh, no, what? That's uh, thirteen hundred and fifty dollars. What do you mean thirteen hundred fifty dollars? Four fifty an hour is, you know, is 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 thirteen is thirteen thirteen fifty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but times so, that times that times four other lawyers. Well, fuck the other lawyers. It's thirteen fifty <laughs> no, to I, you, uh, and uh, uh, just to listen to the guy. No, but think about it. Think you. about it. Thirteen hundred, thirteen hundred, thirty, uh, thirty, thirteen hundred, thirteen hundred, twenty-six hundred. What is it? Thirty-six hundred. What is it? Well, Thirty-six hundred. Uh, Twenty-seven. Yeah, 50, 50 uh, there are about ten thousand dollars worth of lawyers in there today. Yeah. yeah. So, so did you make any progress? We had two of them. No. I mean, now, they sat around arguing whether this lease was properly signed and that one wasn't properly signed. This is this has nothing to do with us. You know, we're yeah. like, we're like, we're, you know, what we are. We're like the kids whose parents get divorced and the kid sits in the corner while the parents fight <laughs> it out in court. You know, mm -hmm. and then yep. when it's all <laughs> over, I, when that. it's all over, we simply say, "Who do I go home with?" You know, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's my. Day in court. Let me see here. Here comes uh, Ed, Edward Armstrong said that uh, yeah. in courts That's they a, uh, substitute or... words for the reality and then yeah. argue about the words. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, this thing just went on and on and on and on. I mean, it was not it was not fun. Oh God, we have Kevin too calling. All right, Kevin, oh, we got we, we got to go to our uh, our other template and put him in, feel a full house coming on. Put him in the number yeah. seven. I feel slot. a royal flush. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I feel like I need a royal. I flush. I want to apologize right now, Michael, what? because when I root for a team, they seem to lose. So, but I'm rooting for the Niners. <laughs> when I root for a team, they win, buddy. Go well, Niners! Maybe your luck will override mine. Okay, so wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me do a transition here. There we go. And now I, I might have the Wuhan virus. What? Are we at a full house yet? No. 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 We need at least two more. We need two more to get a full house. I might have the Wuhan. We got eight. Yeah. Because they found it in Thailand, and I was in Thailand for two weeks. Oh. Mm. Well, it, yeah. 
Okay. I got a friend whose ex-wife on Friday passed away. She she had the flu. She went home from work, 66 years old, got her first Social Security check that, that month, last month. Wow. And uh, uh, Friday, she, uh, she didn't feel good. She didn't go into work. Uh, Saturday, her kids call. Nobody answers the phone. They go to their house, uh, her house, and she's in bed in their pajamas, dead. 66 yeah. years old. Hey, by the and way, uh, yeah. Uh, wow. Her, her, by the way, recently. look at Rob. Do you notice anything new about Rob tonight? He's in his studio. He's in his studio. Did you get oh, that yeah. thing working again? No. Can you hear me? I don't even know. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. you sound great. You sound yeah. terrific. Sound yeah. better than the other night, yeah. <laughs> it was tinny the other night. Sounds like yeah. the good old studio again. Yeah. It's a mess. It took me... It took me forever to figure out why I couldn't get the... I just wanted to try it because it's been so long since I've even been up here except to do that little line for you and that promo. What's, but, it, what's uh, interesting, i got to tell you, he, what happened was, uh, as you know, the exchange went to Monday nights. So I couldn't use an old promo that was like the lineup promo because he says, you know, first up is uh, the exchange from uh, Tuesday to th blah, 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 you know, th that whole thing. Here comes Vernon Nunn now. Okay, well, hold right. on a second. Nine. Hold on a second. We're, we're, ge we're getting there. We're getting there. Here's the number eight spot, and uh, that's going to be Vernon. Let me put Vernon in there. Uh, there he is. Okay. And uh, boom. Wait a minute. We don't have a – Vernon, your camera isn't on. That's the only so problem. Nine should be called the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, there we go. There, there's, uh, there's, there he is. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, it's a story of a man named Bennett. No, what were we, yeah. what were we talking about? Uh, that's that's anybody's a, guess. Uh, fork land. Oh, the what? Attorney land. Oh, attorney land. Yeah. Uh, it. Uh, so we sat there for. It was only a half a day today. We sat there for three hours while they argued over whether this was proper or that was proper or whether there was really a, 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 a you know, whether this signature was proper or that signature. And it had nothing to do with us. Nothing, you know. And, uh, and then uh, on uh, Wednesday, we're going to go back again for a whole day of this. And th mm. my, they say they're going to take another day to make their case. I mean, come on. I, there are murder cases that are shorter than this, for Christ's sake. They're, they're trying to they're trying to squeeze you uh, that it's to, to make it cost so much that you decide to fold. That's well, they better doing. get used to the fact that if it costs so much that they're going to have and we prevail, they're going to have to pay for the fucking legal fees. You got to you got to get the money out of them. They don't well, sit there and want to write a check. Well, then you got to sue well, them for that. Well, we're prepared to do that. We already have talked about that. Yeah, if that should come to pass. Uh, but the fact is that, uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what this guy's expecting, but uh, I felt personally in a pretty lousy case today so far. And, and you know, it's just, it it's, and, and I've got two lawyers now because one of my, the guy who runs the firm said he's going to come by and be there for us and that he's not going to charge us, but he is going to bill uh, uh, the, uh, the the guy who rented us the apartment. So so he's figuring that he's going to win. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, I don't have any doubt that we're going to prevail in this thing. We did nothing wrong, okay? Mm. You know, I mean, we're not even... It's not like, you know how people charge other people with, well, he defrauded me and he defrauded me, and that's what this is all about. It's a he defraud, she defraud, right? Oh, well, right now they're just trying to use a technicality to get out of the thing. No, but yeah. when I'm, no, they're not. Yeah, well, what? the signature wasn't right. Uh, no, 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 no. They're trying to just say that, uh, no, this, this document shouldn't be admitted and so on. That's all that's yeah. about, Phil. Yeah. Right. Um, but uh, the fact is that, you know, it's like he defrauded, she defrauded, whatever. The only people that did, only people didn't defraud anybody was us. I don't even know why we're there, to be honest with you. 
I don't know why we wound up spending fifty-eight thousand dollars so far. Is it sixty? Well, you want to protect uh, not only the, the place, but you also want to protect what you've got into it so far because you overpaid uh, by a couple of grand a month yeah. for oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. almost yeah. three years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's why that's how you were injured. Yeah. So, you know, but 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 we wouldn't have sued if he hadn't sued us. OK, yeah. we countersued. Well, okay. that's because he was trying to mitigate his damages. If he could have gotten you out, then he could have uh, given him back the apartment. No, he's they, you know, that had nothing to do with it. He, they, even if he got us out, that didn't mean they'd let him back in. No, but he might have been able to mitigate his damages. Well, you all know. I know, he could have mitigated his damages a long time ago by settling when they said, hey, yeah. we'll settle for $50,000. And he just said, no, I want 350000 Oh, you mean the landlord offered to settle with the guy? Oh, yeah. A long time ago. A couple of years ago. Oh. Well, it's going to be a party. <laughs> well, it, at least you'll know. Uh, well, you won't know right away because the judge usually will say, I'll take this under advisement. And then two weeks later, you get a, uh, you know, they let the attorneys know and then they tell yeah, you. We'll, we'll get some kind of, but we'll get some kind of reading on it. Oh, so far, my lawyers feel that it's not going good for him. It's. The landlords, uh, he are kind of not culpable as much as we thought they would be, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, and that we're, we're, you know, I mean, it's not like we're home clear, okay, yeah. but it we're in better shape than we were, you know. Did you see Rob is in uh, cabinet garb? Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's wearing yeah. he's wearing the uh, pajamas. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, he also he, the he also did a Tony on us. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. But it, no wallpaper. Yeah. That's, that empty microphone and stuff is because he had to go somewhere. You know. Yeah. But anyway, so it, it, it was our first day in court, and I I was looking forward to it. I felt it would be a little bit exciting, and I I was in for a sad, sad, sad disappointment that it wasn't. I wasn't getting my money's worth, okay? I want some action. I want some fisticuffs. I want the... Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, does this look like the legs of a vic, of a, of a, of a, of a defrauder or whatever? You want Perry Mason. I want... Yeah, I want... Yeah. I want the butler did it. Yeah, I want, <laughs> I want some kind of real... The, the judge didn't even wear robes, okay? So, I'm, I, so is that getting my money's worth? I don't think so. Guess what, yes. folks? Tony just called, Tony. right? Yes. Right. Tony. And and so if it's Tony, let me hold on a second. I gotta find him now in this whole list of names. God damn it, Webhead. Oh, yeah. There he is. Game. There he is. Okay, there he is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. There, ladies and gentlemen, is our fine, wonderful friend. Norman Bates. Norman Bates. And, and it's that, a full there, house. There's Tony, Can and, I, and I was able. about to say Four, that, five, Phil. Six, I, Phil. I beat you to it. No, well, you didn't beat me to it because I then I won't put it up, okay? Well, fuck you. You got to put it up. It's the rules. Okay, there we go. It's a full house, ladies and gentlemen. First time in a long time that we have a full house. Now, if some, one other person calls, it'll be a... Uh, It'll be royal a flush. royal flush, which uh, would be look like uh, this. Okay, so <laughs> so you better you better. Hopefully somebody will call, and uh, we can uh, we can do it. But right now it's just a full house. So oh, there it is. Anyway, um, so, so anyway, so it, it's kind of you know it's it's. It, I wish I could say it was fun. It was just boring as hell. You know. And uh, I I I sat there and just I was I was using my iPhone, checking my mail, doing things like that. And I said to the lawyers afterwards, I said, "I see what you get paid for the boredom." And they laughed. They thought, "Yes, now you know." You know. The judge didn't admonish you for uh, using an iPhone in the courtroom. No, everybody no. was using their iPhones. Wow. I even wow. took I even took some pictures. When it gets down to mediation, it, it's like buying a car. 
they come and they talk to you and then they go back into the room and yeah. the judge talks to the, the lawyers. And then he they come did back the mediation. Say, no, it, we already did that. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Well, they go to they get to the final the final day this when they is start to say the, when they're going to no, settle. No, and, and th- this, that's when they. This is the trial. This is the actual trial. This is. Yeah, he wouldn't settle. So. This is an actual trial because he. Well, oh, this weren't is the trial settle. with the this, jury and everything. No, no jury. No, no jury. Oh. No jury. This is the full Monty. Yeah, but this is this is you know this is a a judge uh, a presided presiding preside. Anyway, it's a it's a presiding. it's a it's a jury it's, it's a trial. It's an actual trial. With no jury. With no jury. Well, the judge makes the decision, right? Are there witnesses? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there'd be witnesses, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you had opening statements and all yeah, that? Yeah, they had opening statements. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does your lawyer talk for you, Alex, or do you have to talk? What? No, he. I don't I talk just, yet. I won't be. I won't. I'm not due to go on stage till Thursday or Friday. So. <laughs> but you yeah. will have to testify. Oh, of course. Of course. Well, I want to testify. I want to tell my side of the story. Sounds like Trump. <laughs> Better please. Oh yeah, if, if Trump Trump Trump, Trump, Trump really testify. wants a trial, he he's he's yeah. trying to keep people from testifying. <laughs> he's trying yeah. to keep witnesses from testifying. Uh, Trump Trump for all his protestations doesn't want anything that he calls justice. <laughs> uh, did you have your hand up there, uh, 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 Bree? Uh, I forget what it was about. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Because oh, wait a minute here. What I guess we got? I I had oh, one oh. case where I had to go uh, against my landlords, and uh, the thing that made me the most upset was when we were sworn in and we you know we had to put our hand on the Bible and swear. Mm-hmm. Then the the landlord's maintenance guy got up and lied. I mean, he lied under oath. That really perturbed me because, you know, I had always been raised to believe that you follow the system. And even if it, it isn't to your benefit, you have to tell the truth when you're in that situation. Now, you can probably use certain terminology that might make you look less, uh, you know, guilty or whatever, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't bald face lie. And well, you're, you're better done. off. You're better off saying I don't recall, right? Yeah. Or to the best of my <clears throat> knowledge, you know, yeah. you don't want to. You don't want to say anything that if if you if you don't think you're absolutely right, you don't want to be caught in a lie. Unless you're Donald <laughs> Trump, then you get caught in a lie all the time. So, you're right though, Bree. There there are people that do that, and it's disgusting. Yeah. yeah, it's you know, and, and, and I think there's a lot of politicians that do that. Well, I, don't, hmm, I wonder which one. Much. Yeah, well, I'm all of them. One in particular. What, what, we, what happened in my case was the uh, the bath the bathroom up above was leaking, and it leaked down into the kitchen, mm-hmm. and the kitchen was unusable. The the walls were falling in, and this was over a year. So what I did was I started to keep the rent in an escrow account, as best I can recall, and it was called stale rent or something, mm-hmm. and uh, I wouldn't pay the rent until they fixed it, and they never fixed it. So I didn't pay the rent, <laughs> and uh, that's yeah. how it went. We, eventually, we went to court, and um, the judge just said to the maintenance guy, you go over and fix it, and then uh, he told me, and then you start paying rent again, and that's how it went. So you didn't have to pay the back rent? Nope. Oh. Oh. But you didn't have a usable kitchen. Yeah. No. I didn't cook very much. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. Hey, has Michael and um, Rob uh, both lost weight? I actually have. Yeah. Thanks for noticing. Yeah. So have I. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes. I've gained so I've gained about. 10 pounds or something. But I lost so much I can afford to lose it. You know, so be I careful. Think, yeah. It comes back on real no, no, fast. I'm being on the very actors. I've been very careful. I've been very careful. Don't I think you look good at that weight though. At this weight? Yeah, I think yeah. you look good. Yeah. I, I don't you look as gaunt as out, I was supposed looking. right. Yeah. Not gaunt. Yeah. Yeah. This is about the right weight for me, actually. I can't see Alex. I just see the Gabnet logo. Really? Oh really? Oh wow! And then I I, I can see uh, Jeff, Kevin, Tony, and Rob, and then it just says plus four. Huh. Uh, really? 
Oh, that's the Everybody Skype else can see me, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's the Skype thing, the plus four. Oh, that yeah. thing. That okay. Thing. Yeah. Because I, I think you can do away with that because I have everybody up here. I don't have Maybe plus too. four. Yeah. Uh, you can you can get it so all the people show up, but it's a setting, and I can't. Remember I, I've I've been a plus one occasionally, but nobody <laughs> wanted me there. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But uh, no, uh, um, so you know, I mean, um, uh, I just you know, I just I just feel that there's got to be something done about the justice system where something like this is concerned. I mean. Why should we wind up paying that kind of money to defend ourselves against something, A, we didn't do, and that we're not accused of? We're not accused of anything. All we're accused of is being in the apartment. And that's well, what would happen if you didn't have any money to sue for They'd lawyers? Be out, oh, we'd be, be out we, we would, we'd be out of this apartment. We'd have been out of this apartment six years ago. Oh, okay. So it, there's no, like, public defenders for... no. Not for no. this. There, there are, I mean, if you're really poor, okay, there are tenants organizations that will defend tenants pro bono, okay? But I, we're not that kind of situation, you know? I mean, number, they would laugh us out of the room, you know? Uh, yeah. What, you want us to protect you uh, from, from being thrown out of your, what, 10-room uh, uh, apartment? Uh, I don't think so. You know, um, well, uh, could, couldn't they have a clause in the contracts where you would have to agree to arbitration or something? And like, there's a there's a professional panel that would make a decision. I don't know. Uh, I think my lawyers have looked at over all the all the uh, 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 stuff. Okay, and uh, they I don't think in our lease there was anything about arbitration, but uh, it might have been. I don't know. You know, whatever. They went into arbitration. Didn't work. You know. Uh, okay, we're There's Tony, is that you, you Tony? Uh, no, actually not yet. That might have to be by you. Uh, really? No, it's not yeah, by I'm me. Clear. That's not by me. I don't have that kind yeah, that of that wasn't me. This usually they Usually it is by me. This they're always. Oh, who quiet. was it? Who 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 had the sirens during the, <laughs> near their place? It wasn't here. This is a quiet <laughs> neighborhood. Well, who stole the strawberries? Yeah, yeah. Who stole the strawberries? I'm already looking for a new place. But uh, I just anyway. moved internationally here. So what? What's, but, uh, yeah. I got new neighbors, and unfortunately, they have a kid kid with special needs, and he screams and shrieks all during the day, different hours. Mm -hmm. oh, it's impossible to stay here. Yeah. I hate to ask this question, but um, what what do you think of the latest allegations against Trump? Well, what happened now? Oh, Parnas. Oh, and you're going to dismiss him completely, right? Yeah, yeah. Not only does he use Crisco in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the way. That's the way. That's a good comeback, that, though. No, no but that, no, but that's the way the the uh, the Trump people handle things. They always make fun of people instead called of answering deflection. the question. What? what? It's called deflection. Deflection. Yep. Deflection. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But what's the newest allegations? I didn't see the interview, but I heard about it. Well, basically, he's saying that uh, he was involved in the whole thing, and Trump knew everything that was going on, and so did uh, Bill. Uh, so Barr. did our, Bill, Bill Barr. Barr. Yeah. Bill Barr, and so did uh, Pence. And so did uh, there's one other person, uh, the yeah, Pope, our, our secretary of Pope. our secretary of state, Pompeo, yeah. Pompeo, and Pompeo. that they all knew what was going on. And then on top of that, the uh, uh, what is it? The uh, is it the um, what department was it said that uh, it wasn't what Trump did was totally illegal. The GAO, GAO said it was totally yeah. illegal. Yeah. And they didn't, they are a non wait a minute they are a nonpartisan organization, yeah. you know. He implicated Mother Teresa as well. You see, you're, again, you're that, deflecting from the, you're here. deflecting so from the discussion. This guy is being prosecuted by the uh, Southern District uh, Court of New York, and he's just looking to throw anyone under the bus he can to try to get himself, uh, 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 you know, saved. Yeah, but you can't. You this can't is, throw. You can't. That's our legal system, Phil. If you're, that's the way our legal system works. 
Phil, also, wow. if, 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 if in fact you are going to be under testimony, under oath, uh, you're not going to lie because of course he is. you're under oath and you can be caught for perjury. Well, he, this guy's already going down. He just figured, hey, you know, look, yeah, Avenatti and uh, what's his name? What is uh, Avenatti? Trump's attorney. Avenatti. Trump's attorney. A Ab Michael, Avenatti has nothing to do with this. I know, but all of those guys lied uh, to protect themselves. Uh, you know, they try to implicate Phil, uh, Phil, anyone what, that they what, could come what, up what with. But this guy's come up with is pretty damning. He might not be uh, talk credible. Uh, he, he might not be a witness uh, during the uh, the uh, impeachment hearings Senate. because the Senate doesn't feel they need to call him. That they have enough good witnesses without him. Okay. They also are supposed to uh, try the articles of impeachment, which I don't think this. Uh, well, you know, he's saying that uh, he has proof that uh, 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 what was it? Um, Rudy Giuliani interfered, and he's got some letter. But uh, you know, when I looked at that letter, it didn't implicate Trump. Wow. The whole world burned. Trump implicated himself. No, right? but Trump is implicated just by the fact <laughs> that he was withholding. He was withholding that uh, money that was supposed to go to um, uh, where Ukraine. The Ukraine, uh, the the G G G O E or G E O. What's it called? The G A O. G -A -O. G -A -O. The G A O says he did illegally. Now that if if in fact he did that and it's illegal, he committed a crime. That's impeachable. But, uh, yes, but uh, so did Biden. So did so, uh, no 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 uh, no. Forget Biden it. The whole thing. Uh, no no no. Is, shut up, Phil. Uh, yes, it's don't. Done all the time. Uh, Deflection. Yeah, deflection. deflection. Hold on. That's not. The, I won't even call it a deflection. That's like me being up for murder. And I'm well, sitting there, and and the, and the judge says, or you know, I'm there in the trial, and, and my lawyer says, but your honor, people commit murder every day. That guy committed murder. That guy committed murder. So everybody should be fine, no problem. Rob, that's exactly I, I, what you're doing. That's Rob, exactly I what you're doing. I saw you do it. You were running away from the scene, and you had the gun in your hand. No, that's no, right. So, I did. So, I, now I you're you're, you're, you're deflecting so, again. So it's okay. That guy's speeding too. That guy's speeding too. No, yeah. no, no, no. What yeah. it is is the, the, these these things don't seem Phil, to rise Phil, to the, we're not the talking. impeachable offenses. We're not uh, to oh, begin yeah, with. To begin with, Biden is an impeachable. Why the, isn't it impeachable? Because it's supposed to be a high no. I said Biden is an impeachable. Gee, yeah, I would love to know what that the definition of that is. Well, you know, they do something that's uh, a high crime. If Congress says, if Congress, if Congress crime, orders yes. money, wait a minute, hold on a second. Wait a minute. By the law, job. Phil, it Phil. It wasn't the blow job. It was the, uh, uh, what was it? He lied. Uh, Lying uh, under oath. Oh, okay, so he <laughs> held the money. He hurt himself. Holding so out he held the money. money from Ukraine. He the money. He withheld the money from the Ukraine, which, according to the GAO, is a crime because Congress okayed it. And you cannot withhold something that Congress authorizes. But he only their, asked, their only defense is, oh, but we let them have it after all. No, his defense is that he was making sure that the corruption was over because if he that, gives them money... No, that was not the basis. But that was not a proviso. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. That was not a proviso. That was not a proviso on the part of the Congress that, well, we'll give them the money unless, of course, you think there's something going on there. No, yeah. that wasn't the reason. You got to give them the money because they okayed the giving of the money. Exactly. Then, they, then he would have given the money to. And a the only government. reason he thought that Biden was up to no good was because Putin was trying to put that smear on uh, on on. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to talk too much, but you, you, you are. remember Biden was on tape saying that he told the guy to withhold the money unless uh, they fired the guy that was Phil, the prosecutor. Phil, Phil. I haven't heard any tape like that. Uh, I saw it on TV. Where? It, it, it where? At the uh, Council on Foreign Relations. <laughs> and I think it was in May of 18 that, uh, no, no, excuse me, May of uh, 16 
that he oh. uh, was that he it, was, so he vice, the, was he so vice president of the United States at the time? Yeah, uh, no, a, it was after he was the vice president. So you've got committed this thing while he was vice president so, and he so, was bragging about it. So you got a vice president versus a president. And if what he did wrong was punishable, then he should be punished for it. He said that when he withheld the money. Care. Well, that's what Trump wants to do. But it, he withheld the money and he said, oh, you got six hours. Uh, he was bragging. He says six hours to fire the guy. Or I'm back on the train and I take uh, on the plane and I take my billion with me. Vernon's got his hand up. Well, wait a minute. First of all, Todd Moore is joining us. Are you there, Todd? Oh, yeah, I'm there. How you doing? Flush. That's really loud. Todd's very loud. Uh, everybody is. Wait a minute. Now hold on a second, Todd. Do you have a camera at all? Yeah, I thought I have it on. No, you don't. No, you no, don't. No, we don't see you. Uh, no. There, there we go. Okay, let me put Todd Moore hey, Todd, on here. Vernon's got his hand up if you can't see Let's it. Let's see here. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get Todd Moore. Yeah, Todd Moore. There we go. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that? No, that... there's Todd. But wait a minute. I just lost uh, Tony. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I got to put Tony. I'll put Tony in there. Hold on. I'm, I'm having to do some artful dodging here. Webhead. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see here. There's Tony. And you know what? This makes it. What? Huh? Flush. Uh, uh, let's see here. It uh, makes it. Uh, let me see here. If I do away with this and I do away with that, do that. And we got a royal flush, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Not yet. Yeah, we got a royal flush, right? Haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah. Yes, uh, 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 Vernon. Okay. I just wanted to make a point of clarification. What mm -hmm. Bill is talking about, Biden mm -hmm. withholding funds. What Biden was withholding was a loan guarantee mm -hmm. by the World Trade, the World Bank. He was not withholding funds that Congress had appropriated, and, and he was preventing that money from being spent. He was withholding a loan guarantee from the World Bank, and that's a big difference. Oh, a billion, billion and a quarter. Details, details. Who cares? They're just details. Tax money, loans. One is impeachable. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you one fire that not. guy, or I'm out of here in six hours. He withheld money from his son one day for allowance. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> details. Yeah. One is an abuse of power. The other is not. <laughs> well, you know. By the uh, way, the reason why I'm showing them full full screen sometimes, folks, now is because it, it, we have a uh, f literally a a, a, a a royal flush here, and so that people can uh, uh, be seen individually as they talk. I just put them full screen occasionally. Okay, all right. Um, so anyway, I, and if they're a little out of sync tonight, lately uh, Skype has had people out of sync. I have no idea why, and I'm not even, you know, I've got a very powerful machine here, and I've got uh, great bandwidth, and so Skype, you can't argue that I don't have the equipment to do it with, so fuck you. All I right. need more power, Captain. I need more power, Captain. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean. Everything's um, in sync for me. Yeah. I don't think it matters yeah. what Biden did or didn't do. That it. that is an argument for election time. If he runs and you want to have a debate with him and you want to bring something up that he did or didn't do, uh, but right now it doesn't mitigate the fact that you did something wrong, and that's it, plain and simple. And yes, according I to the GAO, know. he committed <clears throat> a crime, and well, the you G know it won't matter, huh? It won't. It matter. won't what, what, why are you saying it won't matter? Uh, yeah, because it just won't. It just won't matter. The, the Republicans are not going to vote to impeach, mm -hmm. and his followers are not going to—I don't care what he does. It, <clears throat> it, just the, you know, the, he, They're not going to believe it. There's nothing that will make any Trump supporter yeah. believe anything that any Trump—everybody around him can burn to the ground guilty, but he's going to stand like the one sole person who just was— Pristine well, now, order. let me ask you a question here. Uh, didn't, um, didn't, um, wasn't there a question asked, or, or an oath taken today 
administered by the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, uh, that they would all listen and vote honestly or something like that. Wasn't that grass? <laughs> you know, I'm just Heart saying, I mean, judgment. hey, you can laugh all you want, Rob, but they took the oath, you know. Oh, Wasn't that Grassley yeah. that uh, swore in? Did talk about judgment. that? No, I think it was the Supreme Court, the uh, Supreme Court justice. He Grassley uh, swore in the Supreme Court justice, but he also swore no, in he the didn't, Senate. No, he didn't. No, they. John no. Roberts swore him in. Oh well, what? Who did Grassley swear in? I thought everybody he swore go in have the a Senate. drink. Go have a swore drink. Swore in the managers. Oh, the managers. Okay. Uh, talking about having a drink, you know, uh, Alex, you told me that uh, the off mic moment between. Uh, the progressives, uh, Warren oh. and uh, Sanders. and Sanders, you told me that uh, you hadn't heard about that. I sent it to you, uh, and now it's been in the news the last couple of days. I think it's a non-story. Okay, the, I the really... deal is that Elizabeth Warren wants vice president. So do you think Biden that Biden can't told her take down Bernie, take you down think Bernie, that... and we'll make you vice president because you you're think never that... going to get. Oh wow, she said. Do you think that hot mic moment was uh, was a setup then? No, I think their mics yes, were hot. I do. I think it was Elizabeth Warren and her camp, uh, because first of all, there were only two people in the room. Well, she, she seemed. Never, am I right or wrong? Her. But from what I heard, she seemed to provoke it. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. She looks like a troublemaker. It's her camp that leaked it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and it's uh, absolutely. It, a low it is low from two years ago. It was in 2018. He probably said. <laughs> Why did she wait till now? You, and how about that, Tom Sires? And she took that meaning of female, but he probably meant uh, that she herself could not win. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, and then but Tom Sires gets angling, in the middle. She's oh. angling for vice president. She's on the side of the Democratic National Committee. Yeah, she sees that definitely. she's not going to get it. So she, they told her, kneecap Bernie, and we'll consider you for. She did it before with. Oh, um, you see that? That if that's true, that's you, you see Bernie uh, uh, swat no Tom drugs. Stiers. Let me ask Rob a question, since Rob is Mr. She's Reasonable here. Uh, oh. The Democrats are setting themselves up to lose, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. No better on that side. <clears throat> They're really not. If yeah. that's the case, if 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 it take down Bernie. And we'll consider you for vice president. They're no better. Mm -hmm. They're not. This is not how you run a campaign. This is no. all that crap. That's not, that's, if that's true, that's Bernie down last man. time. What were you going to say, Tom? Uh, what, 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 what were you going to say? Yeah, um, Bernie uh, did like 37 campaign stops for Hillary Clinton in like five yeah. days. So, you know, he clearly he thought a woman could be president. Why would he go out and do all the work? Why would do he say that? it 2,000 yeah. times? Yeah. And then Elizabeth Warren comes up at the last minute of a debate, you know, and they leak something in a private room. Come on. The that CNN ridiculous. questioner? Uh, uh, absolutely the CN ridiculous. The questioner from CNN uh, ignored Bernie's answer. Yeah. And it, oh. if he said, you know, whatever they wanted him to say and then went over to the other one, it looked like it was a setup between CNN as well. Could be, could yeah. be because they're you know they want to tout the uh, the elitist you know side on the Democratic side as Fox News does on the other. They're part of the establishment. Mm -hmm. How about you, Kevin? What do you think about this? I, I never even thought of those angles that you're bringing up, but it sure does sound shitty. How, how about you, Vernon? I mean, how do you feel about this? I mean, are you seeing a win here? I don't see anybody that can win. I don't they think do it this, right. uh, all of them can win. This, I don't think the Warren Sanders thing amounts to a hill of beans. Mm -hmm. That's the way I've been looking at it yeah. until you guys brought this shit up. I think it's you know. huge. I think it's yeah, huge. I do too. I no, I think. Well, I don't mean yeah, but you wouldn't vote for I, either one of them, Phil. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, what you yeah but well, don't you see what the you, what It doesn't do matter who I vote for, Phil. It's not your party, fight. You see what she's trying to do. She's trying to push what? Biden over Sanders. She's low class shit. I'm sorry. They're all, if she can't win, step down. She did, it, step down. did you see she Sanders? Made these calculations before. She wanted to be vice president with Clinton. I don't so, trust her at all. Did you see Sanders swat Tom Steyer 
uh, when he wanted to say, he says, I want to say hi. And Sanders was so pissed off that he, he said, yeah, 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 you know, and, and kind of pushed him out of there. <clears throat> Look, did you I, see, I did don't you see that I, one. I'll tell you. I, that to me was just crusty old Bernie. Yeah, well, I yeah, think, yeah, I think Bernie's just a little too crusty for my blood. You know, yeah. and God yeah, knows, and guy. God knows I'm That's crusty. That's the guy you want you with know? the football. God knows I'm crusty, and I don't. And well, 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 but he's too crusty for me. You but know. you know what she's trying to do? She's trying to discredit Bernie anyway, so that Biden can win that first right. that first election. I mean, look at Cory Booker. Hey, Elizabeth Warren, if you can't win, step the fuck down. Okay, enough of your bullshit. Uh, she's a divisive person, Alex. I'm sorry. Yeah. Lori Booker stepped down. Get Step down. Years. And she's got something to say to Bernie. Bernie. Say it. Hey, listen, she's got something to say to him. Say it off camera. Mm -hmm. Let hey, Bernie Tony. win and slip Larry David in there. Come on. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good she one. Be told off. That's what she needs to be doing. Don't talk to me. Bernie looked at her like, what are you talking about? Like he had a question. I'm sorry. You know what? If you got something to say to somebody, don't say it with the camera on me. Say it back. Well, let's say let's take a little poll that's here. Exactly. Let's right. take a little poll here. All you guys. OK. And uh, Mr. Moore, yeah. thanks for joining us. Jump in anytime you want to. You know, uh, you know, um, uh, so here, here's, here, here, here comes the, you know, the question, uh, question. uh, how many here, for instance, raise your hands, Phil, you're not involved in this. Okay. Because you're well, not, this a, is not America. I don't get a vote. Not, no, not on this question. <laughs> how many here sure he does. are for Joe Biden? I don't mind Joe Biden. But, no, I, I didn't ask that I question. Wait, I didn't ask that question. How many here if you want are for no. Joe Biden? No. How many here are for Uncle Grouchy? Bernie? Bernie. Bernie. I don't mind Bernie. Ooh, Todd Look, the two Bernie. black guys are for Bernie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's got Warren, problems uh, with black uncle, huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Charlie, I thought you were a Warren supporter. I was until all of this shit. Oh, okay. See, mm -hmm. it did do it. Okay, how here. many here? How Just many here? How post. many here are for Elizabeth Warren? No, I don't. Care. Oh, wait a minute. Um, uh, um, uh, you have your hand up, right, Vernon? She's getting. He's put his hand, hand up for all three of them. I'm for any Democrat. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. He hasn't put his hand down yet. So, how, was there anybody here for Elizabeth <laughs> Warren? No. No. I can't. I don't trust him. How how about Pete Buttigieg? I like him too. I like Buttigieg. You, hand, you, 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 you don't get vote. two votes. You only get one vote. Oh, okay. Tony. <laughs> That's the problem. I can't. Uh, you like Buttigieg, Jeff? Yes, I do. Okay. And I, and and as the numbers of people start he going wants. down to two people, three people, he's going to be more powerful. Yeah, I more, think he's You see. You see, uh, and, and, and Crit can walk in 2020. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, not mentioned uh, my guy yet. Let me see here. Styers. I don't even know who that is. Anybody? Yeah, Anybody? Well, who's well, your, who's your, who's man. your guy? Yeah, yeah. but that was, da, 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 da. Yeah. Bree, who's your guy? Good on the roof. Who's your guy? I don't Bray? understand how Tom Styers even on this. Who, who's stage. my guy on the no, Democratic no, no, side? No, 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 no. I said yes. Bree. Oh, I Bree. Okay. He okay. said you haven't asked about my guy. Who's your guy? Well, who's that? Washington Part of the Post. Yang Gang. The Yang he Gang. Three months. Three months. Three months. Three months. Three months. Okay. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. No, none of the other people will ever give you anything. This guy wants to give you a thousand dollars a month, and people have to question whether I'm yeah, holding out. Out. I'm holding out for I'm holding thousand bucks. I'm holding out for two grand. Uh, <laughs> Michael, you've been very quiet. Yeah, I, I just sent this link in the chat. Um, the Washington Post has this thing: which of these 2020 Democrats agrees with the most? And I didn't know who agreed with my values the most. And it turned out after this poll. It was a tie between Biden and Bloomberg is who I agreed with on policy. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised because I'm not a big Biden fan generally. But uh, it was interesting to see that when, I, when you when you go through these 20 questions, who who you agree with as far as policy goes. And 
I, I, I urge everyone to take this little poll that Washington Post. Now, is but you know, all of this has to be tempered with with the notion that, and and the question, of course, that what is who is going to be able to beat Trump? And I, do you see anybody, nope. Michael? Nobody. My I, man would have a math contest. Who? Oh, yeah, okay. I was laughing at Trump before 2016 too. I mean, anybody can beat anybody anytime if they do it right. Well, that's, that's the true. that's the way it seems to be going. There's no, there's no one except it might it. not. There's no. I, I really would like to see some, okay. Wait a minute. Tom Steyer go up against Trump. Do you know about what's being heard by the Supreme Court uh, uh, just about just now? Is that they're talking about uh, allowing states to have a popular vote? and not the uh, electoral college. Uh, so, uh, and that's being heard now or but this but, in a week. But you can't, you can't do that, Phil, because is. the electoral college is part of the Constitution. Yes, but the Supreme Court is hearing a case on it right now. The, the case is whether or not a faithless elector is allowed to be faithless. In other words, that they won't yeah. go with what the popular vote says. Right. Can they see the vote, and then vote differently. And that's the question that they're asking. Because electors, I, electors, I electors, if I'm not mistaken, uh, don't have the ability, uh, electors don't have the ability to, uh, uh, they, can, they can vote for anybody they want to once they get to Washington. They don't, I they're thought not, it was state, after the first. That's state by state, Alex. Yeah, Some yeah. states have the ability yeah. to change the vote and others don't. Okay. Sure. And some can. Yeah. With the so yeah. anyway, the Supreme on Court's state hearing decides on that how now. to cast their votes. Right. Yeah. Wow. Well, so it's, states make that decision. So if the state, if if this goes in favor of a more popular vote, and the state is able to change, I think it would affect this election if the outcome of this uh, is, well, no, we're we're going to have it in November. And then the swearing in is in January, so it might not take effect until January first. Todd, Todd, yeah, let me bag. ask Todd. Todd, anybody, yeah. anybody in this uh, game, uh, game that you're, you know, that you've got, you got in this game that you like? Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Yes, sir. Uh, why Bernie? I like him from the beginning. I watched him for a very long time, and. I like him, even though he's old, as you guys would say. But um, you well, know, well, I like no, what he's no. About. I, you know what I would say? He's young. Right. <laughs> Compared to you, <laughs> and and you compare him to Trump, it's not that difference. You know, they're about the same age, aren't they? Yeah, uh, I think Bernie's a little older. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by about a, a year. Guy. By about Trump a year. Trump is seventy-three. I think Bernie's seventy-seven. Or eight, you know, 76 or something like I don't that. I mind the age, really. I think Bernie has more wits about him than Biden yeah. at the moment. Oh, Biden doesn't seem yeah. very, he doesn't seem like he's got it all going, you know. Yeah. Um, he's uh, a bad candidate. I just think he, they're going to, they'll beat the shit out of him and they'll find a way to discredit him to the <laughs> point where they'll yeah. make him like a criminal, just like they did with Hillary. And, and, Lock uh, him up. Democrats there is that he's got too much back establishment. Well, yeah. what I said was it was a brilliant ploy on on Trump's part because even though uh, his uh, ability to get the Ukraine to turn him in and so on didn't work, just the inference hurt yeah. hurt Bernie. You know, because there's some people who are going, oh, there's something on the Ukraine. I don't know if I can vote for him. Right. On the hey, other hand, should have saved it for the campaign trail. On the other hand, we had Jason last week who said he works with a bunch of people who voted for Trump in the last election who now say they can't bring themselves to vote for him. Now, That's what they tell you. No, no, wait a minute. I believe it, and I believe it's absolutely true. But the question <laughs> is, will those people then vote for the other side, or will they just stay home? Yeah. They'll know. either stay home or they'll vote. You know, last time when Bernie got uh, uh, pushed out of the race by the DNC— yeah. Uh, 10% of his uh, voters actually voted for Well, Trump. actually, we shouldn't listen to you, Phil, because you're wrong most of the time. No, uh, he's oh, right. I'm wait right. a minute. He's you know, you're bad. wrong most of the time. I can't tell you the most recent time you were wrong. You, said, you said Trump will not be impeached. 
I don't he, think he's going to be impeached. No, he, he was. No, he, 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 he he's already been impeached, Phil. Yes, but he's not going to be thrown out of office. No, no, no. You said he wouldn't That's be different. impeached. I, I didn't think he was going to be impeached because I didn't think Nancy yeah. Pelosi okay. so, wanted him so to be So you were wrong on that one. You were no, wrong? It's just, it's just she, uh, no, you, know, you were wrong on that. Say, Phil. Okay, say, so I was wrong okay, on that one. Okay, bravo. Thank you, Phil. Thank right. you very much. But, that's so big, Phil. It's, it's going to cost. It's going to cost you guys. No, it's not. Not. Uh, not. not. Gonna be, gonna be be oh, 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 okay, we're pushing that we're pushing the 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 envelope here. Let me see here. Patrick is here. We're pushing the envelope because now. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I mean, first of all, let me see if I've got the there's, royal flush. there's the Darth Pat, flush. okay? Because the last time I put these many people on at the same time, uh, wait a minute, are you there, Patrick? Well, I will, I will leave because I was trying to see on your video feed mm -hmm. how many people were on there, and I can't because it just goes to the person talking. So I just took a shot at calling in. Well, wait, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, but wait a minute. Is your, is your camera on? He, uh, nope. I'll write him and tell him to come back. Well, you see, because I could have run the other uh, other thing here. Yeah. yeah. Alex, um, yes. I, I, just, I just found an article that said that just a minute, one please. in ten of Bernie's voters ended up voting for Trump, not the number that Phil was saying. See, I could have run that. See, that's that goes beyond royal flush. That goes to jackpot. But did we lose Patrick? I'll get him. But no, he but he, it, the reason he may not have had a picture was because he we filled up. I no. saw his video. Well, yeah, yeah but but was it on. wasn't it wasn't playing here. That was the problem. Okay, but anyway, uh, let me get rid of that. Let me go back to the royal flush and let me clear out the full. Oh, wait, wait. Royal flush. We got the. Wait a minute. I don't want the jackpot. I want the. Hold on a second. Royal flush. There we go. Okay. There we go. Anyway. Charlie, you got yeah, some. Yeah. Could I, could I uh, comment on that? Yeah. One in ten of Bernie Sanders voters voted for Trump, but That's 10%. two in ten, two in ten of Hillary's voters voted for McCain in two thousand eight. So there was far Different less election. affection from Bernie voters than there was from Hillary voters in 2008. Different election. All I said was 10% of Bernie's you know, no, voters voted. Yeah. That's fine. I'm just saying it. But the, a lot of the Hillary what does it matter? contingent keep, keep bringing that up like it was a bad thing when it was much better than what, to her, what they did in 2008. Okay. Let's see if the Democrats fix the... Uh, the but, nominations again, or try to fix the nominations again. By the way, I have, for the first time in maybe five years, hit an all-time high for people watching at one time wow. tonight. That's I don't know cool. what oh, we're doing oh, right, yeah. but, you know. I'll, I'll take full credit for that. Thank you. Will you yeah. really? Oh, okay. Yeah, one more, and you got a Trump 45. <laughs> <laughs> It was 44, you know. <laughs> you know what? It's going to be busy, I think, because of the election, you know. I think people are going to get really jazzed up into listening to politics. I'll well, tell you, I think people are getting downright bored with this. It's a bush. Really? I, I don't know. I, I'm not even watching the news anymore. I'm just tired. I'm You're just tired of it, right, Rob? You're tired of it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know anything about what you were talking about. I'll tell you what. I'm, I mentioned this last night. I will mention it again. Mm -hmm. That those late night shows, which have spent their whole time lately harping on the uh, on the election, have been losing numbers like crazy. Late night, the you know the late show and things like that are all losing numbers because nobody wants to hear it anymore. They're sick of it. it they've been ginning this up for almost a year and a half now, and who needs it? You know, I don't care. Yeah, I'm I miss Johnny Carson. Who? Johnny Carson. That's going way back. Yeah. Well, who, that who was getting when away from nighttime being TV was good. That's when nighttime TV. Oh, have you seen? Have you seen Kimmel? Kimmel's very good. I like Kimmel. Kimmel's terrific. Not Johnny Carson. Yeah. 
Kimmel no, but it's Johnny Carson. Well, like and, they, 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 and Johnny Carson got pretty bad towards the end. Oddly well, enough. Allen is still number one with two million. Jimmy Kimmel is number two at one point nine four, and Colbert is uh, third place. His ratings, but he has three point six million people. Well, watching. actually, uh, for the first for the three months prior to this, I believe Colbert was number one all the time. Who who was who did you say number one was? Uh, well, well, Fallon. If, if Fallon. you go, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Wow. If you go by ratings, uh, Colbert first, then Fallon, then Kimmel. What's the difference though in audience? Season to date, eighteen to forty nine. Oh, the demographics. Are... Okay. But what, what, what uh, season to date? But what are the what are the numbers? Do you have numbers there? Well, I have millions of viewers. So Colbert has three point six million viewers. Fallon has two point oh one million viewers, and Kimmel has one point nine four million. So so Colbert has the larger audience. Yes. O yes he does. Overall, Colbert is winning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, right. however, you ready for this? Yeah. What do you mm -hmm. think Fallon's numbers were when he started out at NBC? They sucked. No, I never no. Too. When Fallon started at NBC, he had twelve million. He had twelve million. Now yeah. they're down wow. to something like two million. Yeah, that, that's a big drop for that late but, night audience. But you can't. Yeah, but that you can't blame that on them. The listening styles have changed. People don't watch TV the same way anymore. There's a lot more yeah. to it than just Fallon. Eroding the number. There's part of part of it is is that commuting times are longer now. <laughs> no, <laughs> commuting times are longer now, so people are going to bed earlier. Oh, oh, oh I think you're making a joke. No, no. I mean, the, the commuting okay. times as commuting times have gotten like you know, it, the traffic is more tied up and uh, whatever. Uh, people are going to bed earlier now, and sometimes they're not even up for the beginning of any of those shows. Well, and you can watch so much of it online and yeah. on your phone, and there's no need to stay up at 11:30 and watch them. So there's yeah. really no must watch. TV I've got, I've got a, a, just to change the subject for a brief moment. Oh well, we well no, I guess all right, our numbers are lowering now. We're only down to 41 people. Wow, this is a lot of people tonight. Um, did you hear? Did you hear what Disney's doing? You know, Disney bought. 20th Century Fox, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, they have been changing a lot of things at Fox. Well, the thing, you know what's going to go? Fox. Fox. The word Fox. It's not going to be 20th, 20th Century Studios, which okay. to me <laughs> makes no sense at all. They're in the last they, century. They did that year ago. Yeah, no because to, yeah. they're saying, hey, we're doing movies from the last century. Why don't why didn't they change it to 21st Century Fox or 21st Century Studios and leave it at that if they were going to do away with the Fox? I think I think no one knows who 21st Century is and 20th Century is more. I think it's, it's I think it's interesting they want to get rid of the name Fox. Well, I think yeah. that what is the other telling yeah. thing here is I think they believe they they truly believe that Fox isn't a very saleable name. It's yeah. Really because it's it been tarnished. Was it part of the agreement? Assailable. No. It, it there is no agreement. The they can do agreement. whatever the hell they want. No, it wasn't you know, part of the agreement. This is my final antibiotic. Are they they still own they own the Fox TV network. Yeah. Would it uh, have anything to do with the Peacock thing that's coming out? Now you know I got to tell you how many. Yeah, of I don't these, know why they're how, doing that. How many of these they, pay? Yeah. Things are going to come up said. before everybody goes. I don't want any of them. Yeah, you know, I'm, I think I'm there. That's how Trump. Lives. I mean, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting, uh, what do you call it? I'm getting um, um, uh, Apple TV Plus yeah, me too. for free. Um, because you, because you know why? Really? You got I bought a new phone, and I get a year. Oh, oh okay. Okay. There's some good shows on this. The morning show. Oh, their shows are pretty good, but there aren't. Yeah. The trouble is, the reason it's not four ninety nine is Disney is six ninety nine. Look at how much stuff is on there. Four ninety nine at Apple TV Plus. How much stuff is on there? 
Not that's a all lot. original stuff in Apple yeah, TV. Not, yeah, not a lot. If I had kids, I, I mean, there's a big benefit to Disney. But if I'm an adult, I think Apple TV has a better palette. Uh, actually, uh, I'll tell you something. Uh, Disney is worth it just for The Mandalorian. I got to say that. It's <laughs> I haven't that, seen it yet, but I want to. It's that good a show. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Which one do you subscribe to? The Mandalorian. To? Oh yeah, watched it all. Watched it twice. How many, Did you, how would you agree with me then, Bree? It's great, right? Well, you watched it Absolutely. twice. You must I watched have watched it twice. Alex, yeah. how many services do you have now? Well, uh, let's see here. Let me see. <laughs> First of all, I have HBO, but I get HBO through the cable company as well. And the, and when HBO Max comes out, I think I'm going to be able to get it f at no extra charge for a year because I'm already a subscriber. Yeah. I also get Showtime, which I also subscribe to i get um what's that one uh, uh hulu. well i got hulu i get hulu and i Not pay much. the extra money so Amazon. i get it for free oh you, can, you don't want the commercial so i get a commercial free uh so i pay 11 bucks for that i get netflix uh mm -hmm. but i have to pay extra because i want 4k uh, then I've got uh, I've got Amazon, but we get that through Marjorie's Amazon Prime subscription. Right. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Then there's uh, what's that other channel? Uh, the one that uh, uh, to get Shorty is on, and so on. Uh, I just I have one box. I can't remember what the name of it is again. No, the, that channel. Then I get uh, Disney. And then I get I get DC Universe, but oh, I'm geez. I'm uh, hopping on the back of Shecky's subscription for that oh, one. Uh, uh, and that's not bad, by the way. No, they get a lot of stuff with it. But I, I think but they, I they just put prices up too. Up I there think now. depending upon the state you live in, I think you pay as much as some people pay in rent for TV every month. Oh, I pay. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah. Well, no, just in cable, my cable bill alone is like two fifty-five a month, <laughs> and then add all the other stuff. But, but you have to understand <clears throat> that that cable bill includes having this very high bandwidth, so I can do yeah. this show uh, only to tell Skype, tell me, well, you know, it may be a lag because it may be her bandwidth. Fuck you. Can uh, you see Jeff's hand? Yes. Uh, is Jeff's yeah. hand up? Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. So, uh, Alex, with all of this. Stuff that you you have. There's nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing on. I got nothing on. But couldn't you couldn't you make copies of that stuff? Well, and then there, after the end is, of the year, you don't need anything. There there is a way of getting all these shows for free. Okay. <laughs> No comment. Like uh, I I I don't take CBS All Access. But somehow I'm able to watch everything on Star Trek uh, Discovery. Is that the name of the show? Oh, it's coming yeah. out. It's Picard or something. And Picard's Picard. coming up. I'll probably be able yeah. to watch that, My too. Brother. I just I have know. have ways. Right, Rob? You know what I'm talking no about. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> you know. Um, the many, thing, many ways. There are many, many. You, you can get pretty much Discovery. all of these shows, all the shows that are on Netflix, Picard. everything without even subscribing to Netflix. But I'm not going to tell you how. Oh. <laughs> Torrance. <Thank> you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I have a cough. Last thing I have to come over to my house and fix you it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, the thing is, that there's so many of these companies are coming. It's only going to be a matter of time before some of these just merge and say, you know, come on, we can't all be fighting the same fight. And then yeah. it'll be the, same the cable, thing company. cable companies were. Huh? Exactly. It'll be what? It'll be the same thing, the cable company, just big conglomerates with horrible service and high prices. It'll be, it'll be the same thing. Yeah. Deja vu all over. Well, I remember when uh, I took uh, Netflix because it was seven ninety nine a month, right? Mm -hmm. And now I'm paying about fifteen dollars a month uh, to get it. Uh, Hulu yeah. I used to get for I think six ninety nine, seven ninety nine a month, and now I'm paying eleven ninety nine. I'm so paying that I sixty five dollars can... for Hulu. Uh, uh, with and the add-on of show. No, 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 you're taking a completely different service, though, Phil. <clears throat> that's that's not, your cable, right? 
uh, Hulu, I, uh, I get it through my, Ro uh, my Roku box, but I get um, it's got live TV. Right. You know, right. it's just it's like having cable. Yeah. And you can also use it as a DVR, I believe. Or I've do you have to or maybe, anything? Well, no, but you, I, I think you can it. DVR with it. Either that or you have to pay extra for that. I'm not sure. But That's the only reason why I don't cancel my direct TV is because even with all the other crap, I love being able to time shift things. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, pretty soon, pretty soon, because I subscribe to Disney, I could subscribe to Hulu uh, uh, on top, uh, back uh, on piggybacked onto that. Okay, uh, and ESPN, they're going to yeah. add that to the they're Disney, all over my Disney to the Disney thing. But you're going to have to pay extra for them. But if I pay extra for the Hulu through them, which will be cheaper than the Hulu now, they I won't be able to get it commercial free. And that's the only reason I've got Hulu is commercial free. In fact, tonight we were watching something. Marjorie went, I think it was Shark Tank. She says, boy, you know, the, the extra three, four dollars a month not to run commercials is worth every penny. And then I remind her it was my penny. But, you know. You know, for some reason, I like watching TV the way I did when it was on broadcast. Uh, you know, like this is the time that the <clears> show <throat> is on, and even if it, even if I could start it at the beginning, sometimes I, I just rather watch it live, and you know, as, yeah, as if it was good, broadcast good you, TV. Phil. And I, good for you, you old fart. Yeah, well, it feels better that way. Yeah, and all those commercials, <clears throat> and yeah. uh, the fact that uh, you got home late, so you came in in the middle of the show. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great idea. Well, no, but you know, I mean, we did have, we did have VCRs, which it's called solved. appointment TV. You know, you have an appointment to do it. Appointment Even TV if, is sports only now. What were you yeah, saying? That's right. that's right. Yeah, it's live sports only. How about you, Todd? You're you're in a you're in a truck. So, are we talking about stuff you don't even know about? No, I got everything that you was naming in the truck right now. <laughs> What's that like? oh, wait a minute. Wow. Okay, yeah, so, so how, uh, oh, me, I'm in a loner right now. That's why you can see me better. My truck's in the shop. Oh, I see. Okay, you're in a loner. Say, that didn't look like your sleeper there. Yeah. Nah, but I'm in one. But this is a nice truck. I'm in a Kenworth. Um, what is it? Uh, uh, 2019. Wow. On a map. And I'm like, hey, you know, it's real nice, but the lighting is a lot better, as you can see. Yeah, hey, Jeff had his. Uh, hand yeah, so how do you get how do you get Netflix, uh, uh, Todd? I get everything through uh, my uh, hotspot. I got my little TV with me right here. Oh, I see. Okay, oh. yeah. yeah, I get everything through my wet spot. Um, <laughs> boy, that was a cheap joke, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, stole it from me. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff's got his hand yes, up. Yes, Jeff. Don't, don't make him have another stroke. Yes, Jeff. He didn't. Thank have, you. <laughs> But uh, I, when I go to the gym, it's a different TV station. And that really screws up everything. All, every one of the numbers, the system, everything is totally different. And that drives me absolutely crazy. What do you mean at the gym? Do they have like a TV set and you get to pick the channels on your different tables? Yeah, at the, at the gym because it's, it's where I live. So it's uh, a small oh, it's gym. probably like a different carrier than you have, like, yes, it's home totally and it's different there carrier. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it absolutely drives me. Yeah. Well, By the way, Alex, I'm able to watch Netflix on my phone. Yeah. So, so yeah, I guess too. Todd would be able to also. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yep. can I can watch Netflix on my phone, on my iPad. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I was I was watching CBS the football All game. Access on my phone. I was watching the football game driving home from the football it, game it, last in week. In fact, I picked up TV just last week on the gold inlays in my prostate. Now, <laughs> <laughs> turn a little to the left. Uh, yeah, and cough. It was an Ed R. Murrow broadcast from 1952. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so. Um, Disney's going to scrap uh, the name of that. Box. You know that they're going to be. It's going to be uh, 20th Century Studios. God, I love. I you know. I, no well. No more Fox. No more Fox. Fox. Well, I mean, there is Fox News that still yeah. will exist. FX, all those channels, by the way, are now Disney owned. 
Uh, and so uh, the question is, are they going to change FX, or are they just going to keep the name FX and just uh, not call it Fox anything? You know, bring back Desi Lou. Yeah. The only, the only thing they sold was the the only thing that they sold was the regional sports networks, right? Disney doesn't own those. Uh, but 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 uh, yeah, Fox Sports, uh, Fox Sports One, Fox, Sports. Fox right, Sports, right, right, right. They yeah. kept those. They kept those. They kept Fox. They kept Fox News. You know, Fox. Right. Have you ever watched the Fox uh, 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 financial channel? Yeah. Fox Business. What a yeah, fucking Maria waste. Maria Bartolomo. Yeah, what, no, what a right. waste of time that is. Every time I tune it in, they're never talking about stocks. No. Yeah, they're they're talking, talking about money. No, they're always talking about uh, the president Trump. today and Trump did this and Trump did that. I'm going, you really expect to, like, Give CNBC competition with this? <laughs> well, you got Neil Cavuto. You got uh, Maria Bartolomo. Yeah, but uh, Cavuto, Romo. Cavuto. He's it, on both. Yeah, but he, he's not really a, a, a money guy. Anymore. And uh, who, who's, the, who's the, uh, the, the guy that wears that plaid jacket, uh, looks like a football player? I don't know. They got one oh, really, big really. Guy. They got, yeah, big they, guy. They got Ain't one really the, fat guy. Big. One really fat guy on there. Well, he's pretty yeah. fat. Who, who what looks? The hell's his name? But he, uh, I, I can't remember his name, but he's good. He is. Yeah, uh, I don't know I've watched that. that station, and I can't watch it for more than five minutes. You know, I can go over to CNBC and I can watch that stuff, and they're not political at all. They just, you know, do the stocks, right? You know, but they know what they're talking about. This thing is a what? It's a it. It's terrible, just terrible. You know. I mean, it's like if Fox decided to start a weather channel and then didn't run any weather. Uh, you need Roger Ailes back, you know? Yeah. Um, At least he would have had pretty girls. Vernon, are you jealous of me because I have gold in my prostate? <laughs> Not at all. Oh, okay. I just, I just was checking in on that one. Um, you're frozen for some reason. I don't know why. But Hold on. Let me see if I can reset it. Yeah, just turn your camera on and off again. Yeah, he turns it off and he turns it back on again. Can you turn it back on again? Uh, it depends there we on go. His there you go. Well, we're getting something, but it seems frozen again. Hmm, that's strange. Well, we have so little time maybe from left all these here. signals. It's maybe from all the signals. Yeah, they. You remember be. if you had more than so many people, some people didn't have their camera. Uh, on the earlier versions of Skype, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. And, uh, like he he's well, he's turned off and turning himself back on, but he's able to transmit. Show, it. yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, just that's not the problem. Yeah, but uh, anyway, yeah, no, you're, you're, for some reason you're frozen. Don't worry about it, Vernon. Just chime in whenever you want to. Okay. Yeah. Um, got the Harvey Weinstein rape trial, which, by the way, I was down uh, at. Uh, 61 Center Street, which is the Supreme Courthouse, and um, right, they my, my it was pointed out to me by my lawyers that right down the street. See all those people hanging. Oh, there you are, uh, yeah. uh, Vernon. Uh, all those people down the street. Look at all the uh, the uh, news cars. The Weinstein trial was happening down the street. So, you know, in Harlem. No, oh, oh, down the street from where your courthouse was. Yes. Oh. Lower Manhattan. Right. He said, he, he, also, that the steps to that courthouse are used in more movies, more television shows. Uh, and so it's pretty... Is that pretty the courthouse cool. where uh, Corrado Soprano went tumbling? I think it may be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it, it, but uh, I almost went tumbling today. It was very cold and icy, so... Anyway, it's, uh, it, it's... That's how they got Atkins. What? He slipped on the ice. Did he? Isn't that how he died? Atkins. Yeah. Well, I guess... That, is that a good way to die? I'm trying to think. In I front guess, of his building. It, it, what? In front of Atkins' building, he slipped on the ice, and he, and he cracked his head open and died. Wow. How old was he? Because I knew Bob Atkins. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll look it up. Yeah. Bob used to come on my show all the time in New York City. Um, 
talk about how to lose weight. This was before he became really famous for this. Uh, but anyway, so the Harvey Weinstein rape trial is uh, is going right ahead. Opening statements are expe were expected uh, Wednesday. Uh, I guess I got the, uh, uh, against a 67-year-old executive who has come to be seen as the arch-villain of the Me Too era. Uh, he was 72 when he died. That's it. No so they found that jurors, was... huh? I guess. I, you know. <laughs> wonder where they found them. I don't know. Under a rock, I guess. You know. Atkins uh, was 72, and, and he died in 2003. We're on to so other subjects would've... by now. I told you I'd look it up. Well, you beef, gotta, you, know, you got to be faster. Wait for you, the answer. You, Don't tell me to look it up. You, you, you know, you, you lose. <laughs> you lose. You know. Uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus signs an exclusive deal with Apple TV Plus. Ah. Yeah, she, she's uh, going to, I guess, do. Uh, she said, uh, this is a funny line. She was quoted as saying of the Apple deal, I am thrilled about this new partnership with my friends at Apple. Also, many thanks and kudos to my representatives for structuring a deal in which I get paid off in AirPods. Ah. Isn't she the <laughs> heiress to the uh, driver's yeah. fund? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. She never had to work a day in her life. Yeah. You know. uh, Alex, what's your favorite Apple Plus series that you've watched? Well, I'm torn between two. I like the morning show. Yeah. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like uh, For All Mankind, the space thing, the thing about the moon. Too. Yeah. Really? Is that worth watching? Yeah, it's it's definitely. It's a dumb premise. Huh? It's, a dumb premise. it's not a dumb premise. It could be a dumb premise if done badly, but they do it well. Okay. Uh, and it, it becomes rather riveting. It's a, it's a what if, and the what if is, what if the Russians beat us to the moon? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, and then it takes it from there. But it doesn't just, you know, it doesn't go into a premise, oh, the Russians are taking over the United States and crap like that. It's like we're just trying to play catch up, you know, and then we're there and they're there at the same time and we both got bases on the moon and uh, there's some problems that ensue and they're spying on us and it it's it's a good show. It's a yeah. really good show. You know. Did you watch the one with uh, the couple the with the the uh who thinks that the they have a baby? The blind one? Uh, the, I'm not sure the name of it. Uh the premise is there's a couple, and um, the wife is a little bit out there, and she thinks she has a baby, but it's actually a doll. Oh, I'm seeing a commercial. Is that, huh? is, that, is, that, is, that is, is that is that is uh, that is that servant or? Uh... It's servant, <clears throat> I think, because that uh, like some 13 year old girl goes and lives with them and mm -hmm. takes care of the baby, and she is well. I don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't watched it. Pretty good. Really? What was the one where the Germans and the Japanese took over the United States? And uh, uh, I, do you know what network and what the name the of the man, show was? That was on Amazon. There's Man on the High Tower. Is it worth watching? Yeah. The first year is worth watching. The second year, not so much. What do uh, you What do you think, Charlie? Would you agree with me on that? I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I thought you said you. Who said they watched uh, it? Who, uh, who Who just went? Yeah. Somebody acknowledged well. it. Oh, well. Anyway, so... Uh, the, you know, Todd, Todd said, yeah. What about this Apple show with the blind... Where they're blind? C. C. C, yeah. I got through about three episodes of that, but I couldn't see it. <laughs> uh, it, it. I don't know. It just... It, it, it didn't work that well. But I will say, of all these new networks, for having new programming... Apple TV has the best originally new programming. But you know who beats them all every time is HBO. Mm. You know, HBO is just a class operation who's not afraid to spend a ton of money on something. I mean, look at what they spent on Game of Thrones, for Christ's sake. That, mm -hmm. You know, that was a fucking fortune they spent. <laughs> Yeah. I, I remember in Queens when we got we were able to get HBO. The guy was come and 
put like a tripod and pointed to the Empire State Building, and I loved it because you got inside the NFL and you got the boxing. So that was, and when you got the first very movies, we didn't have cable in Queens by us, so that was the only channel we had in this area was like HBO or WHT, I think it was, it was one or the other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Maddie, we were like the last people to get wired here. But yeah. HBO was always to me like the best. New oh, York guy, you know. was about the third city to get HBO. The first city to get HBO was, uh, I don't know, it was some rural community that they tested. Is, is that in. where uh, cable started? No, <clears throat> there were two. No. There were two places. Charles, Pennsylvania, or Pennsylvania or something? No, no, no. Something cable before. started. Yeah, it was Eastern Pennsylvania. Yeah. Eastern Pennsylvania is where HBO started, right? Mm-hmm. Charles Stolen is the one who started HBO, and he sold it to Time Warner or Time Life, whoever it was back then, so he could build a Hollywood out home theater. cable system in New York on Long Island. Yeah. A, a jo- well, who Dol- started the CCTV? Well, Dolan you know, now they- owns a lot of a lot of Sirius XM. Dolan does? Yeah. I think Dolan Ooh. does, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Somebody was a big investor. Oh, no, that's Malone. Uh, I'm thinking about Malone. Yeah, oh, Excuse yeah me. Malone. Yeah. Because Rob worked for that guy. Who? Right? Uh, Dolan? The guy, no, uh, Malone, I think. No, I worked for Dolan. Malone, oh. I, Malone screwed me because I was going to start on a new network that he was co, co-funding with NBC and somebody else. And uh, Malone pulled the plug at the last minute and the network didn't get off the ground. Mm. Yeah. Um, but um, um, I think that, um, you know, uh, uh, HBO pretty much has, you know, a lot of quality stuff. Uh, Netflix is good. There's a lot of stuff there, but there's too much of it. And everything's a Netflix original, you know, even though most of the time it isn't a Netflix original. Yeah, I remember. Everybody's got originals now. Huh, what? It seems, oh, sorry. Oh, everybody's got originals now. Oh, but HBO does so they seem like they take their time with things. They don't well, they take a show like Peaky Blinders, for instance, in well, England. Well, they say uh, there, is, there is are produ- three things. Is, wait, wait, wait a minute. It's produced by the BBC, and here they call it a Netflix original. Uh, Shameless was a BBC uh, show also, you know, which no, is on they Showtime. Did, they did an American version of version. it. Yeah, right. we're, we're not talking about taking Shameless from England, presenting it over here, and calling it a Showtime like it's uh, original. Yeah. So, yeah. So, well, and they plus, say you I, can have things uh, good, fast, and cheap, but you only get two of those. So, if you want it uh, good and fast, it's not going to be cheap. But Netflix needs things fast, so and they need them cheap. So they're not necessarily going to be good. Right. HBO, they can get it. HBO, the stuff's quality. I mean, you know, I mean, this last thing, uh, what was the thing they did from the Good Watchmen? Was it, oh yeah, my brother. I didn't, watch I didn't it. like my that. Brother, I, I only watched one episode of that. Well, if you get through it for a while, it starts to make sense. Okay, it all yeah, starts to come back. together. It is. Oh, I heard that. Well, they no, weren't renewing. It's it. been renewed. No, it's been renewed. It was no, signed for two. Up. It was signed for two. <clears throat> seat. I cannot. I was a huge Watchmen fan when the comic book came out. I was. I would wait at the comic store oh, for that know. to be delivered. Yeah. And I liked the movie. <clears throat> um, but this series, I don't see anything about it that yeah. I well, they they, I, they, they they've, they've got a second season. I think they were signed for two seasons to begin with, you know. And HBO doesn't no, give. No, it says it's in limbo. Well, I bet you it gets renewed. Okay. Okay, I bet you it won't. <laughs> okay, I will bet you a hundred <laughs> Gabnet bucks. <laughs> okay. So you, oh, you had you see. had a uh, jackpot for a minute. Or a second. Yeah. And, and uh, we've had over 40 good. people watching us all night long, which is pretty damn good, you know. Yeah. And that's a lot I, of some people leaving, a lot of people coming in, you know. So it's good. Hey, listen, thanks to all of you. Let me see if I can get through this here. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, um, who am I thanking here? Uh, uh, let me yep. see, Jeff. Thanks to uh, Bree. Thanks to Rob. Thanks to uh, Kevin. What? What is that? Is that your new Macintosh? Cheese grater. <laughs> Cheese grater. <laughs> your new Macintosh. Yes. Thank thanks, Vernon. Sorry, Patrick. Uh, Mr. Moore, thank you for joining us oh, tonight. We always geez. love having you here. 
uh, and don't be a stranger. And of course, uh, 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 Tony. Oh, that's and Patrick. And Patrick, who Patrick. tried to get oh. in. Uh, listen, uh, why don't all of you give a big go wave goodbye? And I will give a wave good, I'll give a big wave goodbye as well. <laughs> He's got their cheese graters. And, uh, oops, oh, wow. Oh, ooh, we've got some noise in the picture here. What is that noise? Well, you know, that's what happens. Let me see if I hang up here. What, uh, what happens? Will that stop, that noise? No, the noise doesn't stop. It, well, what kind of noise, a noise, an oyster? A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. I don't know what that gazorchness is in our picture, but I'll, uh, I'll accept it. Anyway, uh, next is the intersection. That's with uh, Jack Bishop. I won't be back here on month, Tuesday. I won't back, be back here Wednesday. I won't be back here Thursday, but I will be back here next Friday. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.